for Harry Maguire, Harry Beckham, Bauer. You get me? I told you better than Van Dyke or better than Laporte. I'm saying it right now. I don't care. I don't care what okay. you guys say yet. He's better, better than Laporte. Up. He's better than Laporte and Van Dyke. In a better system, you will see he's better than Laporte and Van Dyke. So you're saying, you're really saying, you're saying that Harry Maguire is, yeah. no matter what's going on, is better he's than better Laporte and he's better, better than Van Dyke. He's a better defender than Van Dijk and Laporte. Van Dijk and Laporte are system defenders. He wins. You look emotional, mate. I'm with you, I'm with you. Go on, let it out. He wins that ball so much. Brilliant. What? Right, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to James Redman TV and welcome back to another Redmond Roundup. I've been doing these like on a one topic based thing. I hope that you're liking the new intros as well. Um, this is just a fun video, not to make fun of Maguire, not to upset Maguire, because I know that if you watch this video, probably be fuming and even though that I probably would not give um, two shiny donuts it's still one of those things that I am not here to offend players or anything along those lines I'm just basically here to help them I'm here to help Harry Maguire I feel like I am the the the, the messiah the messiah of of of, of helping footballers and, and I feel like if more footballers took my advice as someone who's never been a footballer um, they would all have significantly more chance of being Lionel Messi. Uh, but that is just my opinion. Before we do get into today's Redman Roundup, make sure that you smash the like, make sure you subscribe, and let's get into today's Redman Roundup. So we're talking about the man who blames everybody but himself. And that's the common theme with Harry Maguire over recent weeks, months, and possibly seasons. Let's go back to the start. So Manchester United buy Harry Maguire for £85 million. At the time, did it seem a little bit over-ambitious? Yes. Did it ever look like he was going to reach an £85 million signing that was worth it? I don't really think he did. I don't think anyone had that expectation. But you can still come in. For, for instance, if Lissandro Martinez, who's been amazing, by the way, came in for £85 million, I think even based off the performances that he's been having, you still wouldn't say he's living up to an 85 million price tag. To live up to that type of price tag, it takes longevity. And I'll tell you what, Harry Maguire has brought that longevity for sure. The longevity is shit. And when I say longevity, I don't even just mean at Manchester United. You know, people, I thought he had an okay first season, but that was no better than what he was at Leicester. And I thought he was overrated at Leicester. The point is, is that at Leicester, he was bang average at best. He was no better than any average centre-back in the Premier League. And I feel like that's still the case now. Um, is there a case of him being worse? I think that's definitely something to factor. I, I think he's just, maybe because he's played excessively for Manchester United and he's been so heavily relied on when it comes to managers like Oli. Even when, um, forgot his face, forgot his face. Who's the old fella who managed Manchester United? Oh, Ralph Ragnick. Ra Ralph even played Manchester uh, Maguire for Manchester United on a week-to-week -week basis. At, at best, you are getting a 7 out of 10 performance. And I feel like Manchester United fans only really over the past six months to a year of really notice because I think the season where they finished second kind of glossed over it. But let's break it down. He's an average passer. He's no good at dribbling whatsoever. My nan, God bless her soul, is a better dribbler in her current condition than what Harry Maguire has ever been, um, let alone right now. Uh, not only is he those two things, but also he just has the inability to play it out from the back. He lacks the IQ. He's just somebody who's just a really needy footballer and he'll never play at the top level. If he plays for Birmingham, great centre-back. Oh, an amazing centre-back. Oh, you might as well call him Gerard Piquet. Oh, he'll be the Maldini for that football club. But when you play him for a top, top six, top ten, possibly top 15 team, then he's just... 
very, very meaty, and that's just my opinion. So if you disagree, please give me some points and factors in the comments down below to give you some points and factors. Um, he's been coming out recently, going at the media, saying, oh, it was the manager's fault, oh, it was the player's fault. Everyone but him fucking self. That's pretty much what Harry Maguire's been doing. And if I was his manager, if I was his mate, I'd be saying, shut your mouth, work hard, and just be happy your football team's winning. Whenever you've played this season for a club or for a country... Your team has lost five games, conceded nine goals. Lost all five games that you've played and conceded nine goals. And bear in mind, England's been terrible, granted. But that's with you in the team. Manchester United have been good without you in the team. And I even think that players like Eric Bailly got robbed of a Manchester United career because you were starting over him. So I think if you're a Manchester United fan, you've got to be fuming about that because the, he, Eric Bailly genuinely could have been the difference if you finish it, maybe not fourth, but at least more in that top four conversation if he's starting week in, week out. I know we had injuries, but I don't know, just... Anyone? Anyone over Harry Maguire? I think it's definitely safe to say that he's the biggest flop in Premier League history, and that's coming from a fan who, whose team bought um, Andy Carroll for, for £35 million. And no, I'm not talking about Darwin Nunes for all the haters in the comments down below. Uh, it's just... The one thing that I'll emphasise about Harry Maguire is that the expectation weren't fair when he joined Manchester United purely based on the fact that he weren't that good anyway. He weren't good at Leicester. He weren't that good at Hull City. He had five... Or has five relegations, if you include the one with England last night, in his footballing career. He's got zero trophies. He's got 80% loss. He's got an 80% loss rate in the semi-finals, people. An £85 million player is supposed to be a big, a big game, big occasion type individual. Harry Maguire isn't even someone who can get you a mid-table three points, let alone a semi-final win. I just think it's now set in stone. That if Manchester United don't release him, it's just another Phil Jones, but worse because he never came through your academy. Or did Phil Jones come through the academy? I'm not sure. But Harry Maguire still cost 85 million, so it's an asset that you've got to make do with. I'm surprised he's still the captain. I'm surprised that he started in the 2018 World Cup semi final against Croatia. I was surprised when he started in the Euros final against Italy. And I was even more surprised to see him play last night because he's been terrible this season and, and he was terrible last season and I think it's been highlighted on multiple different scales so this isn't a video just me bashing Harry Maguire because he plays for Manchester United and it's a popular train to bounce on I have been saying this since Manchester United finished second but only gonna sell share and I had a bunch of top reds Manchester United fans coming at me manks oh he's, he's Harry Beckenbauer mate he's Harry Beckenbauer you're just some scouser mate you can fuck off mate and Ah, oh, all your little H wannabes, just say you want. For a man who has got more relegations than Gareth Southgate, which is saying something, I really do believe the case study is now closed. The chapter is closed. Whatever your analogy you would like to use, he is finished. You can do the crocodile stomp because the book is that finished. You need to let go of Harry Maguire. And that's not just to Manchester United. That is to Gareth Southgate if he wants any glimmer of hope of keeping his England career alive. And I think Manchester United fans, the majority are now off board on the Harry Maguire train. Um, but for the few that are still on there, you are heading towards a cliff if you haven't fell off it already. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think Harry Maguire's getting too big for his boots, and in this situation, he needs to just shut his mouth, appreciate the fact that the team that he captains is winning, and stop blaming other players, stop blaming other managers, because the common theme through all the changes of managers, all the players that have come in and out, is that you're still there, and when you play, they... Manchester United and England are two considerably worse football teams. Now, Harry, before I round up this video, you are a legend of my football club because you made Manchester United significantly shitter. But I am a football YouTube channel. I am also a Liverpool fan, but I have to be fair... You're just not good enough. And if I was someone who was close to him, I would be saying the exact same thing. Let me know if I'm being a bit over the top. Let me know if I'm just stating the obvious. I thought this was a, this was a fun video. I thought the intro alone was making it worth uploading. And the reason why I'm not talking about Liverpool, which is the badge right there, is purely because we've got nothing to talk about. No news has happened. So uh, a video tomorrow will come out on the channel from Hot Copics. Hopefully some news comes out because... I'm drained, mate. I'm sick of talking about other teams. I talked about England earlier. I talked about Thomas Tuchel and Chelsea last week. I'm talking about Harry Maguire now. Ugh. Hurry up and get some news. And then I can't wait for football to come back. But anyway, let me know if you liked this video. Um, smash the like because it really helps the algorithm. It pushes it out there more. And it just lets me know that you're enjoying the videos. And that means the absolute world. Because that's the one way I can tell. If you can leave a comment saying, um, Redmond 
is a goofy bastard, that'd be fantastic. Um, if it doesn't let you type in bastard, just put um, a goofy nostril, if you if that's a preference. But in conclusion, this has been today's Redmond Roundup. So thank you for tuning in, and I will see you all later. Peace out.